bionic humans, zombie Christmas, and Skyping chimps. Just because you don't need to know about these stories doesn't mean they won't interest you. So Cody, what'd you think of the competition? <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and this is The Dispatch, where we give you three cool, funny, or we we weird news stories from the previous week of human existence. And I forgot to write a clever line, so start the video? Right now. Not without a court order, you're not. Number three, bionic eyeballs. Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. There's that one superhero every kid grew up hoping to be. The bionic bunny, right? Bionic bunny meets dark bunny. Well, at least now you can have bionic eyes. An eight-minute procedure invented by Canadian optometrist Dr. Garth Webb can save you a lifetime of squinting and lens cleaning. My glasses! Called the Occumetics Bionic Lens, this custom-made lens is folded like a taco and inserted into the eye using a saline-filled syringe. It unfolds itself and adjusts within seconds, permanently fixing one's eyesight. I can see all obstacles in my way. But you were hoping for bionic limbs, right? Too bad! At least another company called Spring-Loaded Technology can bring you some passive bionic devices. The result is a line of knee braces that can reduce fatigue while effectively enhancing the strength and power of your leg muscles. Their levitation knee brace serves as a shock absorption system, being marketed to athletes of any level that have suffered from joint or muscular pain. Apparently it can help you move like you are 50 to 100 pounds lighter as well. But you're not fat anymore. I went on the subway diet. Perhaps the most shocking part, though, is that the levitation knee brace is in no way affiliated with Chris Angel. The Mind Freak. Chris Angel was just like, levitating like out of nowhere. Number two, I'm dreaming of a zombie Christmas? I'm dreaming of a Christmas. Frankincense, myrrh, gold, and brains. For the second edition of their zombie-themed nativity scene, Jason and Amanda Dixon constructed a display of dead-eyed wise men, spooky Christmas music, and a razor-toothed baby Jesus. I don't agree with the idea, you know. It ruffled the tree skirts of some locals, though, who left a pamphlet at Zombie Jesus' feet, reading, God frowns upon this manger scene. Amen. Zoning officials in the area were not pleased either and gave the couple a deadline to have the permitless structure taken down. The Dixons, unconfirmed if related to a Daryl Dixon, You had this coming! opted to ignore the deadline, however, calling the display a, quote, wonderful piece of artwork. That will cost them $500 for every day that it sits on their lawn. Clearly out of shits to give, though. I'm gonna leave it up. They'll be collecting donations to improve the structure even more for next year's display and to cover any fine faces the zombies may eat. <laughs> ah, I mean, cover any fines they might face from the city. These people need to know who the hell's in charge here. Number one, Salisbury Skype. Climbing up on Salisbury Hill, I could see the city light. British music legend Peter Gabriel has had a long and prolific career as a frontman of Genesis and as a solo artist. I wanna be just So it's only logical that he takes this next step, teaching chimps how to internet. Part of a project devoted to exploring the remarkable communication skills of intelligent species like apes, dolphins, and elephants, and seeing if these skills transfer over to the digital world. You know that feeling when you and Bay get separated on a fruit and nut hunt through the jungle? Gabriel, the Monkey World Ape Rescue Center, and Massachusetts Institute of Technology might have the solution, as they plan to use Skype to see if the internet could have benefits to other species. I mean, we already know apes can lay down a sick drum fill. So who's to say they wouldn't be total bosses at Skype? And how good is their trolling game? Whoa, 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 whoa. So, what other holidays do you want to see zombified? This is a bad idea. This is the only idea. If you want to suggest a story or just talk about what you want for Christmas, get involved by tweeting us at the Dispatch WM. 
And for your weekly dispatch of offbeat news stories and top 10 lists published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You get to the count of 10. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down.